get the hat on before we do our intro. Hello. <clears throat> hello, hello, my nasties. Welcome to another vlog. I have a busy day today, so let us try to keep this introduction to less than 30 minutes. Let's try. Yes, my apartment is a mess. As you can see, the gremlin has already destroyed the pillows this morning. It's the first thing he does. <clears throat> I've got lighting strewn about at the bottom here because I was playing around with that last night. And whew, your girl, today, busy day, not a lash to speak of. You know we have a casual, busy, lazy day when your girl doesn't put on a lash. I didn't even bother putting on the foundation, the concealer. I mean, I have a tinted moisturizer on, but that's it. It's dry, I'm trying new lotions and potions, my skin is breaking out more than usual, and it's just, it's one of those things, right? I don't have time to deal with it, so we just put on the eyeliner, the brow, just light makeup, right? Just nothing on the face. But that means we're going super casual today. So casual, we've got sneakers on that I've already spilled coffee on, you see that? Mm, 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 mm. But even my sneakers, they, they're not regular sneakers, you see that? They have like a little gold rim all the way around, shiny gold hardware, black quilted. I gotta clean those though before I head out. So yeah, to feel a little bit less frumpy, I mean, you know you gotta put the jewels on. Got my big old funky vintage rings, and then my costume jewelry. These earrings have passed the test. They will be available on my fashion, my art and fashion boutique, Coco Naughty, shortly. I'll let you guys all know. I've been wearing them for months now. Some of you have asked, oh, the earrings are cute, where'd you get them? And I've been hush-hush, but I will be carrying these on my website if you are interested. All of that being said, <laughs> I just had to put on the obnoxious earrings today to feel a little less frumpy dumpy because we have a busy day today. Allow me to consult my calendar, but first, I've had three of these already. It's espresso, don't do that. Normal coffee doesn't affect me, but espresso does that, okay? This is why I don't drink Americanos. This is why I don't drink espresso because, ooh, but I love Turkish coffee, you guys. But that also destroys me. But she's got a busy day. So I have my breakfast burrito that I prepared last night because I'm too lazy to get up early and make my food. Toasting in the toaster oven right now. And we, we're multitasking today. This is why we, we've got we've got the, the running around town get up today. Just sneakers, sneakers and a tank top. Uh, packaging orders. I'm going to be finishing up my new welcome package for my Patreon patrons at the Color Fiend tier. That has been in the works since January. We are finally done. It's just a matter of me finishing it up, digitizing it, and getting that out to my Patreon patrons. So if you've been waiting on that, it's on the way. Packaging orders, Patreon work. I'm going to be working on my newest sticker, which I think I've mentioned to you guys. It's that cutie little voluptuous pink pinup girl, uh, the one that was in Graveyard Girls. I'm gonna be working on that. I'm going to be working on my next coloring book. I'm only going to be releasing three books this year and they're going to be spaced out quite a bit. So I just released Aesthetica Synthetica a couple of weeks ago and then my next coloring book, it's likely not to be released until the summer. So we've got, we've got lots of time, but it's going to be quite an ambitious book and uh, we gotta get a jump on it early because it's gonna take me four eh forever to pencil and ink. So there's that. And then I have to run out and do a lot of other things for other projects of mine, which I'm not gonna talk about now. One of those secret projects, I'm staring at it right there, right now. This is, I, okay, I'm always working on several projects at once, right? Uh, I'm always working on them and the labor tier, is divvied up according to the project. So for instance, this project, the one that I'm looking at, is something that I've been working on since last year, since September, October, since early, early last fall. And because that project is nearing completion, now I can start dedicating a little bit more time to the next project that's on the schedule, right? And so once that one starts getting near to completion, then I can start working on the next one. Because the thing is, is I dedicate a lot of time to initial steps of a project because once the foundation is laid for my project the rest of it comes very very easy to me this is why i love brand building so much i love building brands and divvying up my time working on separate projects 
but the, the hard part, the laborious part is developing the brand. So once I have the meat down, the meat on the bones, decorating it is very easy. That's how I see my, my project. So I am building, well, we'll think about it in fashion terms, right? So I, I sculpt the mannequin, right? The mannequin is plain. Then I have to decide what I want the mannequin to wear. So then I have to mood board the idea. And once I have the mannequin built, and then once I have the mood boards down for the brand, then I can start decorating it. And that is the, the actual brand development, right? Um, so yeah, that's, that's just how I work. And you guys know, ever since I stopped working for the man, right? Ever since I stopped being an office cubicle drone, right? Even though I was a creative drone, I was, I've always been in graphic design and all of that brand development, branding, graphic design, that, that has always been my thing. I've always been that monster, right? Working for someone else, doing the nine to five, right? Nine to fives are great for some people. They're not good for us manic creatives, right? So I enjoyed being creative, but I hated the schedule and I hated being told what to do. And God damn it, I hated HR, right? HR departments because your girl's not the easiest person to get along with. And um, I don't apologize, right? So, I, I mean, unless I do something horrible, you know, if, if I say something to somebody and it's accidentally meaner than intended or mean when I didn't intend, okay, fine, I'm sorry, you know, but listen, Nancy, if we have a project due at 2 p.m. and you're crying over your third breakup of the week, bitch, I don't care. I'm not going to give you an extra 15 minutes. No, do your work and I don't care. So yeah, I, I don't do good in office environments with other people I don't play nice with others if they're you know idiots so all of that being said I quit my job right even though I was kind of forced out but I mostly quit and uh, yeah ever since then I'm realizing that now that I have more time to dedicate to building my brands and doing what I want um, I'm, I'm having difficulty figure out figuring out ways to divide my creative energies and what I mean by that is when I was working in an office, when I was a graphic designer, even when I was a freelance designer and then working from home, I was still working for other people. But a side note, so much for an introduction being less than an hour, but this is important information because it explains why I'm so manic and why I enjoy and need to put my energy into multiple projects at once. So when I was working, in an office or even if I wasn't physically in the office you know what I mean I was working for an office for a company as a graphic designer I was constantly working with multiple departments I was working with you know the marketing department often as a designer I was part of the marketing department it's it's anyway I was doing creative work but I was doing creative work for several clients at a time so on any given day I could be doing work for a dog groomer, um, an author, a restaurant, a coffee shop, um, a boutique, a photographer. Do you see what I'm saying? So my days were filled with different projects, different deadlines. So from the time I walked in to the office, I had a list of all of my projects and clients that needed to get dealt with that day, that week, and I would be able to divvy up my time accordingly. For the first couple hours of my day, I was working on this project and I thought, okay, now I got to make a phone call. I got to get on a phone with this client. I got to do this for this one and then this for this. And I was constantly, duh, 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 duh. I am an excellent juggler. You guys have been here for a long time. You know, I am a self-starter, I hate that term, but I'm a self-starter. I'm a self-motivator and I, I don't need anybody lording over me, right? If I have something to do, I get it done. I schedule accordingly, all of that. Now, I am guilty of putting too much on my plate, that yes, but I'm good at dividing my time. So now that I don't have that normal nine to five, which let's keep it real, as a freelancer, it was nine to nine a.m. to nine a.m. the next day. Sometimes it was constantly working overnight, underpaid, overworked, you know how that is. Um, ever since I left that job, I'm finding myself focusing on Coco Nati, which is my art and fashion boutique that I love, but it's unhealthy to work on one project all day, every day, right? It As a creative, I need other outlets and other avenues through which to express myself and which to, in which to enrich my creativity, right? I'm like an animal in a zoo. You can't just throw me in an enclosure and feed me strawberries and bananas all day. 
No, you gotta put those strawberries underneath, you know, underneath little building blocks. You gotta hide the bananas. I gotta look for them. I gotta, I gotta be crafty, right? I'm, I'm definitely, I don't do good in a cage. Hello. And so I need enrichment. And because now I don't have those official clients that I need to work on every single day, I need to essentially be my own client and I need to give myself other projects to keep myself busy, to keep myself creative, motivated, excited, and just passionate about what I do, right? Because if I'm only doing one thing, if I've got tunnel vision for one thing, and that's not going to work. That's not going to work. So spending a week and a half away from my environment, from my bubble, it got the juices going. That that tends to be the way that it works. I posted a post over on Instagram that said something that it said something to the effect of espresso. We're not buying that anymore. Um, oh, and she's umming today a lot. She's got to take it easy today. But I posted something on my Instagram which said essentially, I do the. I'm trying to remember exactly what I said. It was something like. I do the best mental rearranging when I'm out of my bat cave. And it's true. When I'm forced to drive around, when I'm, you know, driving and I'm thinking, I start to compartmentalize different projects. I begin to dream up new ways to do things. I dream up new projects to work on. And it's great. It was it was good for me to do that as much as I hate being gone and away from my work and my table and everything. You know, it, it's definitely necessary because as I said, I am my own motivator. I am my own, uh, I, I mean, I'm my own overlord, right? I don't have anybody forcing me to get up away from my desk to go do other tasks and go do other things. So by my leaving, physically leaving, I'm forcing myself to stop what I'm doing, get out of my, my bubble and for lack of a better term, to exercise my creative muscles in other ways. So yeah. Uh, we have lots of things coming down the pipeline, uh, most of which I probably will never mention because half of those ideas are probably going to fail. That's just the way it works. You know, you, you can't be a creative if you are afraid of failure. You got to try a lot. You got to fail a lot. And the things that work, great, great. The ones that don't, don't. Uh, my priority right now is, of course, Coco Naughty. That is just, it's art and it's fashion. She's everything that I am, right? So that brand nothing's changing nothing's going anywhere however i am entertaining ideas for other projects that i can dedicate my time to when i'm not working on art and curating vintage for coco Nut. does that make sense does that make sense i'll give it to you this way uh i'm such a basic bitch my favorite meal of all time you're you're gonna die i mean i've mentioned it before but if you are new here pizza iced tea and either some sort of just plain dark chocolate brownie or plain ass cheesecake with nothing on it right basic bitch pizza iced tea unsweetened iced tea at that pizza iced tea and either cheesecake or a brownie I'm that basic and as much as I love that could I eat it every single day I could but would I get a little bored with it yeah, probably. You know, I'd, I'd want another little tasty taste of something else. But could I eat it five days out of the week? Baby, absolutely. Just give me a little bit of variety in there. Change the pizza every couple days. Change the iced tea flavor every couple days. You know, ch change that every couple days. But essentially, pizza, iced tea, brownie, or a cheesecake. Every single day, yes, give it to me. Monday through Friday. But then on the weekends, let me eat something else for at least those two days. So five days I can do this. Two days give me something else. So that's where my brain is. That's how I function best. So to use the pizza analogy, five days, five, five days, she is, I think, much, much faster than I can speak, than I can articulate it. The neurons are just pew, 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 and then it takes a while to percolate down and translate through my yipper. So, five days, we're, we're going to try to slow it down, right? Five days, I can dedicate to Coco Naughty, all of that art, all of that fashion, that whole world. And then on the weekends, I would like to work on my other secret projects. Got it? Cool. So, I'm talking too damn much. 
let's package orders, let's work on Patreon, let's get that sticker done, let's eat our breakfast, and then I'll do everything else that I need to do. All right, let's get on with the day. Allow me a bit of YouTube trickery here. So this little clip of my making new thank you bats, and shortly you will see me illustrating some thank you tikis for Coco Naughty. These clips are from prior to my leaving town. I left town for about a week and change and then I came back, but I had some orders that I packaged before I left and I wanted to make sure that I got those on camera so that I can thank you guys in a vlog for the orders. So you're going to see me package a few orders and then we're gonna travel back to the present and you will see me working on what I addressed in the introduction to this vlog. Got it? So the intro is current, the following clips are not, and then I will put in a little disclaimer on when we are going to fast forward back to the present. So, intro is present, next few clips are a couple weeks back, and then I will let you guys know when we fast forward back to the present. Got it? You know, we do a little bit of time traveling around here. We do a little tricky bizicky business, but uh, anyways, again, I just wanted to make sure that I got the thank yous in this video for the orders that came in. And also, I just wanted to make sure that I let you guys know where my brain is in terms of my Etsy shop and branding. So we talk about that a little bit shortly coming up here in a second. So anywho, let's carry on with the vlog. Thank you everyone for purchasing and for hanging out in this vlog. So let's get on with it. Okay, because I am using three sketchbooks this year, I think it would be overkill to waste all of my stickers on my sketchbooks. I always decorate my sketchbooks with whatever stickers I decorate, or rather, I decorate my sketchbooks with all of the stickers that I create within the year that I use my sketchbook, right? So every time I make a new sticker, I slap it onto my sketchbook and um, 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 because I'm using three, we're not gonna waste three stickers, right? Or rather, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine stickers for every sketchbook. So we're not gonna do that. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do, because I do have a scrapbook, you know, I mentioned my scrapbook every once in a while, uh, I'm going to, put the stickers on whatever sketchbook I'm using as well as in my scrapbook. So uh, today I'm just going to pull out the sketchbook and we're gonna slap these little ladies on there because they're finally here. They are for sale via Coco Naughty. Momentous occasion, y'all, because Etsy did not receive these stickers, the stickers nor the prints. So you guys know I am separating myself from Etsy, though not entirely my printable PDF coloring books will be available via Etsy for the time being and so will, and I think for the foreseeable future if we're being honest, because I don't want to completely erase my Etsy presence. So the, ooh, I, I should have laid this out. How are we going to do this? But as far as new prints and new stickers, Etsy no longer gets that privilege. <laughs> because I, I'm sick of the fees. I'm sick of the Etsy fees and I'm sick of everything over on Etsy. So, oh, how are we gonna do this? How about, so anyway, long story longer, these prints and stickers are available exclusively via Coco Naughty. So if you'd like one, head over there and check them out because they are available now and I think I like that so let's just oops she's a little crooked cute and we'll put this one up in the corner like that I can dig that and then this one down here how's that and then we have all this space to fill in here sure I can I can live with that I think I prefer this. Yep, okay. Cute, right? The prints are adorable, the stickers are adorable, and it just it just felt right. It felt right to finally release something and get real excited about it 
because it's on my own web store. I love it. I love it so much. Here's a little refresher if you don't remember. This was last year's sketchbook. So, and I do recycle stickers. So, for instance, the Coco Naughty, because Coco Naughty is my new store. Hello. So, uh, it's tradition to put a gold Ralph, whether I created that sticker in that year or not. I always put a gold Ralph on all of my sketchbooks, and then Coco Naughty now moving forward will be on all of my sketchbooks as well. But that was last year's. Did I do any on the inside? And here they are. So, there you go. Welcome to the desk. It is time to have ourselves a little packaging party. Uh, I have orders for both my Etsy shop as well as Coco Naughty. I released those three new prints and three new stickers on Coco Naughty and you guys love them. A few of you scooped them up. However, today we are just going to package Etsy orders because I am waiting on the freebie Golden Ralphs to arrive so that I can include those in Coco Naughty orders. So I'm gonna put those aside and we're just going to do Etsy orders. So first up is an order for the lovely Erica. Erica. Uh, she ordered a Bandulce sticker, so let's get that wrapped up. And I love this Bandulce sticker. I mentioned to you guys in a previous vlog that this is one of my least popular designs, but it is a design that is probably one of my favorites. And because I don't want people to freak out and think, oh my God, if a sticker's not popular, she's going to retire it and I'll never be able to get it. That's not the case. I actually just, I don't retire stickers. Oh, what is wrong here? I'm sorry. I know I'm very fastidious about my tissue paper being, okay. So. I do not retire stickers based on whether or not the sticker design is popular, I, which is probably very stupid from a logical you know, business standpoint, but when have I ever been a logical business monster? Never, right? Which is probably to my detriment, I'll admit. However, I don't allow popularity of a design to dictate whether or not it stays in the store. I rely on uh, what I want. <laughs> so. If, uh, if I love a sticker, it's gonna stick around. And this is one of them, which is one of my least popular designs, but it's one of my favorites. So guess what? It's staying in the shop. And let's see, that is packaged up. So thank you, Erica. I don't know if you are a subscriber or not, but if you are, thank you, because I love this design. So we're gonna put a business card. We need a Coco Naughty business card and a little thank you that and I'm feeling generous today because I'm really excited about Coco Naughty I got some sales for the artwork I hadn't had any stickers or prints on that website up until yesterday and I'm really excited so I'm gonna toss in some freebies into Etsy orders just to say you know thanks thanks for shopping on Etsy I know I'm leaving Etsy for the most part, but I mean, we still appreciate everything she's done for us over the years, even though in the previous few years, she's been uh, not so great. But here you go, Erica. I hope that you enjoy your order. It's definitely a cute one. A little fun dulce and some goodies in there for spice. Oops, 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 oops. There we go. Erica, thank you. Next on the chopping block is an order for the lovely, the fabulous, the, my UK witch. I didn't make that up. That's what she calls herself. I'm not being mean, uh, but I think witch in the in the um, in the acceptable, wonderful, lovely, natural term, right? Not oh, you're such a bitch, you witch. Not that kind of witch. Actual witch. So this one is going out to the lovely, the fabulous, wonderful UK nature witch. Helen, thank you so much for your order. I hope that you enjoy these two prints. I love them. They were a recent addition to my Etsy shop, and they were, in fact, my what I think is going to be my last Etsy shop print update for the foreseeable future. So she picked up the lovely little garden imp as well as Ms. Rococo Agogo, the color the cover girl for that coloring book. So let's grab some backing boards. Ooh, 
voila. And uh, some, come on, come on, come on. Sticking to my fingers, some clear seals. Bloop, bloop. Business card, coconutty card, and the little freebie stickers. We'll toss in a little thank you bat as well. Cute little order, am I right? Some cute little prints, little stickers, precious. And this is going all the way to the UK. So I hope my ladies get to you safe and sound. Thank you so much, Helen. I hope that you enjoy the hell out of these girls because they're adorable. Block Ink is essentially the same order, believe it or not. Uh, we have another Garden Imp, Rococo Agogo, and a Pan Dulce. And this order is going out to the always wonderful. I would assume that this person by now is probably the biggest collector of my work. And I am eternally grateful to... Are we ready for it? Sabine, Sabine, Sabine. <laughs> Just pick one. But absolutely one of my top collectors and I from the bottom of my sparkly little black heart believe me when I say that I appreciate you being a silent supporter it means so much to me knowing that there are people out there who care about what I'm doing so much that they are just so wonderful and willing to get behind me and my work and it's just it's crazy to me it's crazy to me to think that one little, just this little freaky, artsy, desert vampire weirdo in the middle of the desert has supporters all over the world. And there are a few people out there who are just so dedicated enough to subscribe to my channel, to follow me on Instagram. And then of course we have the incredible Patreon patrons who are just, I love you guys my patreon patrons and then we have collectors like sabine who are few and far between but they exist and i so appreciate it so thank you ever so much you are going to get of course a business card toss that in and then freebie stickers and hey you know what where are my cupcakes i'm also sending you a cupcake oh wait first of all we got to toss in the thank you bat And let's get, here we go, a little cupcake. So a wonderfully spooky little order, a gorgeous, fabulous order. And you know what occurred to me when I was writing down and pulling these orders? Um, you guys, what am I going to do about my purple branding? when I whittle down my Etsy sales. Because moving forward, I'm still going to have, well, let me just finish wrapping this order and saying my thanks to the lovely, the fabulous, incredible Sabine, Sabine, Sabine. <laughs> Thank you so much, as always, for being incredible. And I hope that these little ladies make it to you safe and sound and that you enjoy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a little spank for good luck. And we are all done with this little batch of orders. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about my little worry slash grievance with myself. So I am winding down my presence on Etsy. For the foreseeable future, I'm still going to sell the current print selection and sticker selection 
that I have available. Those will still be available until they sell out on Etsy, and I don't foresee that happening anytime soon. So the stickers and prints that I have right now on Etsy will be there until they sell out. And I will decide at that point whether or not I'm going to restock them or not, and or whether or not I'm going to, if I do decide to restock, whether I'm going to stock them over on Coco Naughty. Uh, but all of my purple branding, if I stop selling prints and stickers and physical products on Etsy, what's going to happen to my purple brand? Mm, 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 mm. One idea that I have, honestly, that it, it's just a nebulous idea at this point, it's nothing solid, is I think I will have maybe, and I've mentioned this before, that if, if I happen to create artwork that I do not feel fits the aesthetic of Coco Naughty, then I will update my Etsy shop. However, that artwork will be few and far between. So I think in those instances, I will have very sporadic updates on Etsy, if at all. But for the time being, I have no plans of continuing to add new work to Etsy. So as you saw in this packaging video, I have added, I've created three new art prints and three new stickers, which are not available on Etsy. So I have Nanette, Lulu, and this is Charlotte. I have these three gals who are currently available on Coco Not Tea. I also have their stickers as well. There's Lulu, there's Nanette. Charlotte, where are you? Here, she's right here. So these three are available on Coco Naughty, not on Etsy. And as you can see, they very definitely fit with the Coco Naughty aesthetic of that retro futurism, bright colors, funky clothes. And I recently updated my Etsy for one of the last times, I think, with this girl. I added her. And she's more of just a quintessentially semi-spooky, gothy kind of Carla work, right? This has no place on Coco Naughty, but she can definitely exist on my Etsy shop. And I will discuss at length where my mind is because this is definitely, uh, these are some growing pains for me right now that I'm opening, or now that I have opened fully Coco Naughty with clothing and with artwork and art prints and stickers and coloring books now, um, that the best way for me to explain this is to say, let's take a, <laughs> No, I'm not so full of hubris that I'm comparing myself to such companies, but let's say, for instance, um, a fashion brand that you all know. Um, I mean, pick one. There's a million. Tom Ford, okay? Tom Ford, and uh, specifically I'm talking about the fragrances, but I mean, makeup, clothing, all of that. Tom Ford exists on the Tom Ford website, right? You can purchase the fragrances, you can purchase the clothing, but you can also go to Sephora and purchase the fragrance. You can go to any department store and purchase product, right? So he exists as his own creature on his website, but then he also branches out. And this is for everyone. I mean, we'll even put Crayola, okay? Crayola, you can visit the Crayola online store. You can shop at Crayola. Uh, they even have a freaking Crayola museum, which I would love to visit someday. And you can also purchase Crayola uh, at Target, at... Uh, Oh, I was going to say Toys R Us, but they don't exist anymore, right? But you, you you, see what I mean. You can purchase the products everywhere. And so that's how I feel myself as a brand am moving. I am Carla Magana, right? I'm, I'm no Tom Ford, but I'm Carla. You can purchase my stuff via my boutique, or you can purchase it via my Etsy, which is kind of my like outlier store, right? Not an outlet. Oh, no, no. Nothing over there is going to be discounted garbage. Never. <laughs> but um, I I am allowing myself to have my my flagship store, so to speak, which is my Coco Naughty, which is my art and fashion boutique and uh, lifestyle, hopefully someday. But we're talking way in the future here. But um, yeah, so I hope that makes sense. I am the designer, but I sell my goods to but I, I sell my goods on other platforms. Does that make sense? I will have to explain it later. I will have to hash out the details when it makes more sense to me and when I can articulate it successfully, but I think you understand 
the gist, yeah? All right, so let's continue on with this vlog because your girl has a lot to do and flapping my gums is not doing me any favors right now. So I will see you in the rest of the vlog. I am going to be running out of town tomorrow, so I'm going to sneak in the order that came in, is it last night or the night before last? Something like that. But I may splice in, um, if I have any other orders between now and the time I return, I'll splice them in. So you're going to notice a nail change and you will likely notice <laughs> an improvement in my latest injury. Again, toaster oven. If you guys remember, I had a big burn here from my toaster oven because I sneak my hand in there and I touch things. First it was my finger over here that I nearly sliced off about a month ago. And before that was the toaster oven burn, and now we have another toaster oven burn. It's all because your girl is weird and she refuses to buy a microwave. Uh, I have nothing against microwaves, but everything in the toaster oven tastes better. So, why not? Uh, so yeah, because I am, you know, a curmudgeonly fool. That leads to injury at times. But anyway, we have a fun order and we kind of match today. We're matchy matchy. This is an order for the lovely Jasmine. She swooped in and scooped up one of my Aesthetica Synthetica girls. This one, I, I've given them, I didn't intend to give them names, but just to organize it on my website, I thought, you know what? There's so many of them. They deserve a little goofy little name. So they all have a little title. I suppose the title is more, more apt. But this one is Ms. Bobbles, not Bubbles, Bobbles, because her bobbles are ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculously fabulous, if you ask me, but check it out. We're kind of sort of matching, kind of, kind of, kind of. So Jasmine got one of those. These are, by the way, the first batch of them is currently available on Coco Naughty. I am going to be releasing anywhere from three to five every week or every two weeks until they are all listed. So. If you have your eye on one, keep an eye out on Coco Naughty. Just check back there every week or follow my Instagram, either my Coco Naughty, my personal Instagram, or both. doesn't matter because I will announce fresh drops on both places, on both platforms. So, Jasmine, thank you. I hope that you enjoy this little lady. They're slowly heading out the door now. It's sad to see them go, but hey, you know what? I would rather my art get lovely homes rather than sit around in my storage closet, right? And for those of you who have picked up my latest coloring book, Aesthetica Synthetica, you have that page in your book to color. So if you like the artwork and you're in the mood to color it, and you have the book, there you go. Alright, so, come on, come on, come on, come on. I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to package this order real quick. And of course, nothing ever goes smoothly. <laughs> it's taken forever. But, I mean, by the time this arrives, or by the time this vlog is up, the piece should already have reached her destination. So, there's that consolation. That although I'm taking forever to package it, <laughs> she's already in her fabulous new home. So, there you go. I love how annoying the packaging is for Coco Naughty. It's black, but then it's, hey, here's some bright orange. And hey, we're not done yet. Let's test on some of my, or let's toss on some of my, some of my gold stars. You guys know how I do. Me and my stars. Come on. And let's see here. A little thank you back. And where are my freebie? Golden Ralphs. Oh, I think they're in here. Business card sticker, but of course. And our lovely, lovely, lovely Mr. Ralph. I hope you guys are digging these Ralphs. I'm kind of obsessed. So there's your order. Thank you, Jasmine. Oh, God, I'm over here making a mess. Okay, about half of this bag fell out into my... Ah, today, today. Today, today, today. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to 
want everything. F All right, I don't want everything flopping around, so let's tuck it nicely in there. Do you see? Do you see why I'm so annoyed by this tissue paper? This is not black enough. It's just not. It's not. That's okay. Next reorder. I'll reorder from a different company. Alright, let's slap one more sticker on here and then it is good to go. Yay! Jasmine, thank you. Enjoy. You guys remember Big Mama, my big sketchbook that I'm going to be using this year? I have yet to illustrate in it, but because I'm going out of town in a couple of days, I have decided to start a project in this book, so I'm taking Big Mama with me. This was not intended to be a traveling sketchbook because she's she's Big Mama. She's huge, but we are taking her with me regardless because I am crazy, and I when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it no matter what it takes, and I want to sketch this, and this project has to be uh, sketched in this particular sketchbook, and that's that. So I'm taking her, but look, look, look. We added new stickers. We added Charlotte, Lulu, Nanette, and the Golden Ralph, wait, oh, there. <laughs> the Golden Ralph is on there, yay! How cute are they? And now we have all of this to fill in, which we will do, we will do. Hopefully by the end of the year, this will have stickers all over the place. I already have my next sticker planned. Uh, if you recall a few videos back, I told you guys that in the sketchy Saturday, I was going to be turning some of my gals into stickers. And this one I think is going to be the first. Oh, where are you, girl? Where are you? It's one of, well, this one I think is going to be a sticker. Once I color it and see if I like the way that it looks as a sticker, I'm pretty sure that one's going to be. I don't anticipate anything going wrong with it. I mean, it looks like a good design, so that one will be coming. But first up, Jesus, if I could find the thing. Here, she's right here. This little saucy lady. I have been giving you guys peeks of the artwork on my Instagram stories, so some of you already know where this is going, but if you don't know, well, you'll see soon enough because she's going to be a sticker. Yay. I'm stalling. I have to keep packing. So uh yeah, let's go, let's go pack my bags. Slight change of plans. I actually have to run out the door, so I'm going to be Finishing up the vlog now everything that I mentioned at the beginning of the vlog I'm going to do it today But I want to ensure that the vlog gets out so you will not be seeing it in this vlog But that's okay because you will be getting a sneak peek at the sticker as promised This is going to be part of I hope a new series on my channel in which I show you guys the creation process of Stickers so from the sketch to the coloring to the creation of the sticker to the actual release of the physical product Oh, my plans. My plans always change. Something always happens. You know, I have a vision for what I want to do. And then every time, every time the universe sees me working hard towards a goal, it says, let me, let me throw some more crap at Carla. So she has less time and less money to do what she wants. You guys, I'm telling you, this is not a complaint. Life is going to do this to you. Sometimes I'm resilient. I'm scrappy. I will always find a way to do what I want to do. But oh my gosh, honestly, honestly, it's, Two step forward, two steps forward, 10 steps back, right? But we got this, we got this. Again, this is not a complaint. I am excited to give you guys a peek at something new that's coming. Isn't she cute? She's looking fabulous already. So without further ado, I really need to run out the door. I have to take care of some things. So thank you for being here. Be bad, be good. I don't give a damn which. Just come back in one piece and I hope you enjoyed this hot mess of a vlog. I will see you in the next one. Oh yeah. Everything you need to know will always be down below. Get out of here. I'll see you in the next one.